There might be a whole new planet on the other side of Pluto. It's named 2012 VP113, jokingly dubbed Biden. Get it? Uh, Corey Powell's editor at large for Discover Magazine and Studio. How you doing, Corey? Uh, VP Biden. Right on. There we go. <laughs> Correct on that. Two images show you. This is the arrow obviously pointing to it. But there are three dots on here. One is red, one is green, one is blue. Right. What's significant? So this is, this is the actual discovery image. Basically, t two astronomers were looking, one little patch of sky very, very far away, looking for exactly this kind of thing. Stars don't move. Planets or anything that's like a planet does. Mm -hmm. So this is color-coded. This is what they saw on different nights. They are looking for one thing moving. They color-coded it to, to show that all these stars are staying still. This thing is moving, and the way it's moving... So this is just one... It's one object, color-coded. Is three, Pluto on this? Pluto's in a whole different part of the sky. So this is way out there. This is way out there. Well, this is more, does, than, more than twice as far away as Pluto. Unbelievable. Why does this matter, Corey? Well, there are two ways you can look at it. I think you know, I look at it, first of all, as, a, as an exploration question. That there, you know, We know where we are on Earth. We've mapped our planet. Our solar system is still terra incognita. It's full of surprises. This object is something that astronomers said shouldn't even be there. There's a whole other solar system beyond the planets that we know that are full of these things that are sort of planets, sort of comets. Some of them they call dwarf planets. That's what they're calling this one. What we're seeing is we're seeing our neighborhood. We're seeing what's around us. And then the second part is we're seeing where we came from. Mm -hmm. Go back to the other image, you guys, and we'll show, because we're over here on the left, right? <laughs> That's right. So we're, our... we're, we're over here. Okay. There's Pluto. Pluto. Pluto's out here. Yeah. And this thing called Maki Maki is way out here. That's right. That's, so that's another dwarf planet. If you want to find out where VP113 or Biden is located, uh, keep, keep walking about another 30 feet that wow. way. Wow. We can is, see that far. And this is the closest it gets this time. When it, when it really gets cooking, it's 15 times as far away as Pluto. That's incredible. It takes uh, 4,300 years to go around the sun. Uh, I don't know how you know that, but I trust you. <laughs> what is a dwarf planet? So a dwarf planet, the, the, the fact that you hear weird terms like that is actually scientists saying there are things out there we don't really understand. It's, it's, a dwarf planet is kind of a catch-all term for something. It's, it's round like a planet. It sort of looks like a planet, but it doesn't orbit in a, in a regular way like all the, all the planets that we but knew would, growing up. Would this be part of our solar system? So it's part of our solar system. Would it system. be outside? It, it's, a, it's, a whole, it's a whole new zone. It's called, it's called the, they're calling it the inner Oort cloud. You don't, really, really, you don't really need to know that. All you need to know is there really are these two solar systems. There's the solar system with the, with the classical planets, and then there's this whole other zone that we haven't explored. Mm -hmm. And now they're saying because of how this, this new dwarf planet moves that there may actually be an even bigger planet, uh, something bigger than the Earth. Well, I guess that, that's the point I was going to, because you study this all the time. Is that why it's so significant? Because there's more beyond that? There's more beyond that, and then there's more beyond that. I mean, I think you know, what we're seeing is... Okay. You know, if you, if you, if you watch the, the show Cosmos, I, I've been kind mm -hmm. of glued to that. And in the last episode, they were talking about the discovery of comets and the discovery of, of you know, our place in the solar system. We're still learning that. We're still yeah, learning this right are. now. And Thanks there's still... Them, man. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, just we're, like we're, you're out of space, <laughs> I'm out of time. But, but this, you know, this is where we came from. This is why we're here. Oceans, continents, air, Thank you, us. Corey. It's all part of that. You got it, man. Good to have you back.